pro middleweight contest. It's getting ready to go down. Perennial UK journeyman Sean Lomas facing Dinky Ninja, Grip House, Dan Hope. Yep, the legend Lomas. Become uh, well known in UK MMA circles and combat sports circles for years. And having his uh, probably his best year in MMA as well. He's taken some big wins. Uh, beat Des Parker, probably his biggest win earlier year. Beat Paul Taylor, the heavyweight. You know, he has really come on. But Dan Hope, experienced guy from a very good gym. North of the wall, the Dinkin Ninjas. Absolutely. Lomas, though, win, lose, or draw. He's one of those, one of the journeymen who brings it. An actual journeyman, as opposed uh, to a can, Steve. Well, yeah, <laughs> you know, I suppose that's the fair way to put it. He is, he actually works. Oh, he's tough, and if you don't beat him, he'll still be in there. And you know, he's added tools to his arsenal. He was purely a striker before. He's got submissions. I've seen him hit throw people on the last UKC show, and then uh, submitted a BJJ brown belt. Like this guy oh, can do it. And again, a big, big left hand rocks Hope. Lomas drives him into the cage. Yeah, I think that was Forgive more, more, of, a, more of a more of a balance thing there, but um, you know, I took the initiative, looking for that footlock there, the old school catch wrestling uh, shin compression. Hope does a good job, just frees the leg, and you'd think a guy of Hope's experience and uh, caliber would be able to weather a low my storm, but you know, he's a tricky guy, and, and like I say, you've really got to finish him. He's not a guy who'll roll over. He's uh, a very tough, durable fighter. See him trying, just a holding position here at the moment. Doesn't want to give anything up. Yeah, and this fight was originally scheduled against uh, Des Parker for Hope. Um, Lomas duly stepped in when Parker uh, had to withdraw due to an illness. As we saw him earlier, and he got a swollen leg. It was uh, some sort of bite, and his leg's massive. But yeah, there you go. Lovely. Here's Lomas working from the top. I mean, and controlling their legs, looking to get a pass. He, he can get to side control there. He's actually got the side control. If he can get a cross face, he'd put himself in a better position. But uh, Hope they're going to roll in there. Roll nice in there. work. Gets on top. But Lomas, Lomas never stops. No, it's a proper bit of chain wrestling here. Yeah, beautiful stuff. And he's staying in tight on that leg. You know, you've seen Lomas been working with uh, good wrestlers like Ali Arish and whatnot. And, you know, he's never been content to be static in the game. He's always adding elements. And we have seen him progress over the years. It, more often than not, he's learned on the job. Yeah. You know, and, but it's been uh, good to see him definitely add new elements to his game. Hope here looking to potentially set something up, go to the to back. Take the back, I think. Watch him spin round. Yeah, look, both hooks oh, in nice. there. And Lomas is good from this position, like, he fights the choke well, doesn't give anything up. As I say, hard to finish. I've seen guys on his back for almost full five-minute rounds, but Hope is a very good grappler. Very good. Really sinking in the hooks, controlling the hips now. Look how, look, look how uh, composed Lomas looks there, though. You're, and he's going to turn him, he'll get on top. Oh. Almost. He's gonna get, it's like the infamous Lomas roll. Always manages to find <laughs> it somehow. He just finds a way, it's crazy, and, you know, any of these guys that come into a fight know that they're going to be in a fight with Lomas these days. Yeah, absolutely. Hope now starting to land some heavier shots from that top position, yeah. some elbows. He's on the uh, top half guard there, chopping him with a, a few of the forearms, few short elbows. And that cross face across the throat, that's just ugly. Trying to disrupt his breathing now. Just making it ugly on the ground a little bit. Lomas again looking for the bridge and roll. Yeah, a lot of, you know, a lot of fighters be happy uh, to, to use that, the half guard to posture up and, you know, a la Randy. But obviously, Dan's looking, Dan's looking to secure him up against the cage a little more before he commits to any posture yeah he might well it's the uh low mass wizard as well like he won't, he's got a good like tensile strength if he gets hold of the of wizard it's hard to release it and the hope has managed to release it now but it's taken him a good while to free himself there now we can get some posture 
If Olo must read grips, he's got their wizard again. And it's a pretty wide open half guard as well. Now just hooked hopes, left leg. Ten seconds. I'm sure Dam Hope would have uh, liked to get in and out in the first round, get on his way back up to Glasgow, but not against Lomas. No, no John's not going to lay down for anybody. And stayed busy there, defended well, didn't take it, didn't take a whole lot of damage. And you know, a clear round in the books there for Dan Hope. Definitely, there's no two ways about it. But you know, Lomas is holding on, and we've seen. It's going to put you through your paces. It's going to make you bring your A game to get the finish. And we've seen Hope like, fight on a lot of big organisations against a lot of big names. He's uh, fought some of Europe's best fighters. And it just proves the level of durability that Sean Lomas brings to the Absolutely. table. Paul Cross is going to clear out the uh, clear out the seconds. We get ready for this second round in this middleweight contest. The legend, Sean Lomas, taking on Dinky Ninja's Dan Hope. You expect anything different out of this round? Sean's always very patient. Yeah, you know, it, Lomas won't force anything. Goes in full power with uh, the low kicks. You know, and I've also seen him knock guys out. Like, he, he can be a threat anywhere. Hope is uh, more, the, more of a tactician for sure. Nice exchange of knees there. But Lomas has had a lot of years in um, Thai as well, doing the Thai circuit, the boxing circuit. There's not a lot that phases him. You'd think again, though, that the, the recipe for this would be for Dan to initiate that clinching and get close and take him back down to the ground. I oh, went to catch the kick. Oh, must have done well to escape that. Um, it might be on a single leg there, Hope, if he can uh, get in there, but he's got to watch the Lomas guillotine as well. No one wants to be in Lomas's armpit. Nice for it. Just and again, that tensile strength, that squeeze is... You know, not to be sniffed at, I have, I remember uh, Lomas finishing, uh, turning him around with a guillotine. You know, if you leave your head in there, he can find a way to choke you. But Hope is uh, out now and he's clear, might look for that head and arm. If he can get the cross face in. And Lomas looks so composed, darling. I don't think there's a bad position that he doesn't know. I don't mean that in a horrible way, but nothing tends to, nothing tends to really get him frantic or. I don't think he's. Um, that's any part of his demeanour at any point ever. If you don't look, if you still look that composed, you know I've seen him underneath some monster heavyweights and all sorts, and if you're still composed in those positions in a fight, like can you imagine anything in life that's going to fluster you? Yeah. Probably not. Dan no maintaining top control doing what he needs to do to you know grind the seconds and the minutes of this round away yeah chipping away body body head and again you know Lomas just grabs something keeps you tight in you know it's hard to get you know the real clean shots off against him he's holding Hope's head there and then he grabs a whizzer and it, you know it goes from one to the other when in reality Hope would look for some good posture to land some big punches and elbows. It's not that easy. There's all these small progressions that that means that Hope can stay there without fear of being stood up to. It's the little shots, the little move. Then Sean looks to do something. Ref hasn't looked like he's even considered standing them from this position. Uh, you see there, Hope is chipping away with the shots, dropping the left elbow. Right, put right hands to the body. He might look to pass there if he can free his uh, right leg. Look for a, a heel look or a leg look potentially. That is one of the uh, kryptonite things for Lomas there. You know, look for a leg lock. We've seen that a few times. He holds on to the half guard really well, but guys attack for his legs. Uh, I've seen him have success. 
Looking for to free the arm for a potential Kimura on that far side, hope maybe. It's that again wide open half guard. Hope could probably have slipped his leg out, but seems more comfortable controlling. Yeah, to be fair, you're better in that position you are trying to mount Lomas. He's got the uh, famous Upa roll, bridge and roll that seems to get almost anybody off the top of him. Nice. You're better off having a bit of control over his hips in the half guard position to keep the control, chip away with your shots. Yeah, he's sitting deep in that half guard as well, isn't he? And he's stood up there by the referee. Back to the middle of the cage. Low kick from Lomas. I mean, he telegraphs it, but they seem to land. They do, and they seem to land with some force. Goes with a right kick to the body as well. Hope again looking on the ah, double. That's a nice duck, duck under there. Lomas trying to punch his way instead of sprawling out of it. Allows Hope to get the takedown once again. Straight back in the half guard position. Almost a mirror image on the opposite side of the cage. Yeah, too tight in for the cage to look for sort of the head and arm, I think, but great position just to beat up Lomas a little bit more. Yeah, and Lomas does annoy guys with the shots off his back as well. Little hammer fist, he'll try and hit you with little elbows. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a it's not a particularly active defensive guard, but he does try to throw shots while he's down there. I think you'd be surprised, like he doesn't look that active, but it's quite rare that people slide through it quite easily. He obviously picks up a few tricks in there that uh, allow him to keep guys in his half guard. You know, should should Dan be getting frustrated with this? He's two rounds up, he's working hard. Lomas is uh, is sort of the spoiler at the moment as opposed to the aggressor. Should Dan be getting frustrated or just keep going back to the keep going you know, back to that game plan? If anything, you know, late replacement, you've got a durable journeyman. Priorities first for Dan Hope is getting the win. You know, going home with an extra win on his record. He doesn't want to get in any stupid situations uh, that give Lomas an opportunity. So he's playing a very tight knit conservative game. Might go the three rounds and win that, you know. If it does, it does. I'll be happy to get the win, obviously. He'd like to get a finish, but it's easier said than done. Five minutes to see if he can stop the legend for the Sean Lomas. Couldn't pick a better nickname for the guy. Oh, it's true. Oi, with the front kick there. It's missed. You know, the amount of times I've seen Lomas fight dozens of times, and the amount of times I've seen him clean stopped, extremely, extremely rare. I don't think I've, I, I know he has been, I don't think I've ever been present to watch him be TKO'd or KO'd. I've seen him lose a few submissions, but I've seen him win a couple as well. Yeah, that was a world time shot from Hope. Again, gets on top. Again, gets on top in the half guard as well. Can he advance? Can he uh, set something up? Nice deep underhook. As Lomas tries to squirm around. I do recall uh, a certain USC middleweight in Scott Askham um, clean count in Lomas a good few years ago. Yeah. That's one of the only times I can really remember it. You know, like that. He's, he's such a tough, durable guy, and the level of guys he's fought. And, uh, who haven't been able to do that to him. It's, it is impressive, really. Yeah, if we Probably went, not good for his brain cells, mind, but... I think if you went back and looked at, the, you know, the back catalogue of all of his fights and looked where some of these guys are now, I mean, he's fought a who's who. Oh, most definitely. Hope here again, chipping away, body, body, head. do not like, say, they, he's not actively trying to progress past the half guard. No, he's, he's happy to contain him, control the hips a little bit, chip away with the elbows. And Sean's been, as you pointed out, Sean's been unable to use any of that explosive, you know, strength and power he's got. On, on his side, hip down, pretty hard to get that spring. <laughs> as I say that, he tried, and, and straight see, back into the half. Yeah, you see yeah. that Hope didn't want the mount. You know, he's obviously done a little bit of research on Lomas. He could have had the mount. 
opted to slide back across. Now he's inside the guard of Lomas. That's a workmanlike job by, by Hope at the moment. He's not yeah, making it, any know, big mistakes. That's the way to describe it. He's not making any mistakes. You know, he's doing what he needs to do. He's chipping away, doing enough to stay on top. You know, he'd rather get the win conservatively than, uh, you know, offer something up to Lomas and lose a fight he doesn't need to lose. Well, especially after, you know, you've got 10 minutes, 10 minutes in the bank and no question he's leading the fight. Yeah, Lomas looking that far side for a Kimura, but Hope is savvy to it. He's not going to let him have that. And again, Mount is available. And he's taking it now. But I... Is he just looking to get his position before he postures up, or is he going to slip around the side? Yeah, with the uh, with him being up against the fence there, a bit harder to get the bridge and rolls. Might be why he's opted for it. Well, there we go, back again into the half guard. Back in the half, yeah. Knees from the bottom from Lomas. And his step uh, referee, Paul Crossley, gets him back on the feet again. Fair call. You got to think Lomas now needs that big KO. Oh, oh nice, nice low kick on the end of that combination. Three shot combination there. And Lomas oh. wants it. Oh, nice right hand as he came in off that kick from nice. Hope. Nice drop of level. Lomas Hope with a butterfly hook sweep. Didn't quite get it. Good base from Hope inside the guard again. Chipping away with the shots. Been a little bit more active with the punches now. I think he's hoping thinking he's hoping this is where the fight stays now. Yeah, he doesn't want to get stood up again. Uh, felt a couple of Lomas low kicks there. I you know, just need to get involved in that kind of game if he can take him down, grind it out. Get some cage time in. As you say, even from the bottom, Lomas is trying to land some little, little shots to the body or to the head. Yeah, you know, it does things that other pro fighters don't do. Most guys are trying to move or escape in different ways. Lomas, if he gets an inch, he tries to hit you with something, and <laughs> that is quite disconcerting. Well, now looking to try and get that posture, maybe put a stamp on this round. Look, Hope seconds. doesn't really want the posture. He's happy to stay in tight, chip away with the shots. And... Uh, we're going to get to the end of the fight here. It's going to be a clear victory for Dan Hope. Clear decision for Hope. <laughs> Not going to win any Fight of the Year awards, but he gets another win on his record against a tricky opponent. Did exactly what he needed to do, and no doubt about the win. But again, you know, Lomas, everyone, his kryptonite was the ground. You'll sub him, you'll sub him, you'll sub him. Yeah, not anymore, Not Steve. anymore. And that's a good level fighter in Dan Hope as well. Yeah. So, I think the decision's a formality, but we're winning the bag for Dan Hope. 15 minutes cage time. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 the, and the test in, in, in the legend.